holy hip hop on a metal forum? Next on That's Not My God. Hey, thanks for joining me for another That's Not My God. I'm sitting outside here, it's evening. I'm in my outdoor office, got the lights going and tiki torches lit and just kind of enjoying a nice evening out here uh, amongst nature. But I was listening to an album recently that I haven't listened to in years, uh, probably even a decade. And uh, it's called SFC, it's a Christian hip hop album. And uh, specifically the name of the, the album is called Phase Three. Now, if you know anything about Christian hip hop, um, the, the stuff that's on the surface, top 40 stuff, eh, not so good. You see, SFC came out back in the day when DC Talk dropped their first album. And uh, it was like, where are these guys coming from? Because they had a message that was unlike anything that was even out there at the time. You see, SFC, uh, they lead the lead rapper, lead singer, whatever you want to call him. Uh, phenomenal guy. His name is Mark Cooper. He just wrote a book about his journey through SFC. And uh, they address some big topics. I mean, like, is this even okay to say on a Christian album? And yet they were signed to a big label uh, for a couple albums. And this album, Face You, they had a song called Kill the Spirit. And um, talks about generational curses. And they were using words that I didn't even know you could use in Christian music back then. And uh, the gospel gangsters have proved that you can <laughs> and, uh, and be okay. And who's going to argue with them? Just saying. You know, what led me to think about that, though, was because there was a group that's formed recently with Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine, Chuck D, Public Enemy, and then a few others from Cypress Hill and others, and it's called Prophets of Rage. Now, the whole gist of this album, the whole gist of this super group, if you will, is that they don't want to sit on the sidelines anymore in a culture, in a world where so many things are passing by. They got something to say and they're going to say it. Who's going to argue with Chuck D? Who's going to argue with Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine? It got me thinking though. Christian music lacks something. Now, I will say that I think a lot, if not all of the talent, lies on the underground, the metal scene, just anything underground, independent, that's where the talent lies. This top 40 stuff is getting crazy. I can't even listen to Christian radio in my car anymore. It just, I can't do it. However, song lyrics are about spiritual warfare, Jesus, God, you know, all of these things. And uh, um, maybe even like... Uh, personal demons we're dealing with and addictions and stuff and I'm starting to wonder like whatever happened to the groups like SFC and uh, some of these other groups even on the secular scene that that have a message about government that have a message about um, fighting the powers because we're first a member of the kingdom of God then we're a member a citizen of the country we live in you hear me on that first Kingdom of God, second kingdom of this world, you know, whatever country we live in. And in Matthew 5, we read an interesting story of how Jesus said, turn the other cheek, give them your cloak, um, go the extra mile. These are not passive ways or being, a, or being a pacifist in the world we live in. He's saying there are some things that are not right in this world and you have something to do about it and you can do something about it. Next week, I'm going to go into a talk about how these three things that he taught in Matthew 5 were brilliant ways um, to fight back, if you will, because we have something to, to fight for, and that's the cause of Christ. So, musicians, maybe you're watching this and you're like, I can't believe he's calling us out. I am calling you out. <laughs> um, I love hearing about Jesus. I love hearing about battling demons, and I love uh, talking about, you know, depression and all these things but at the same time man there's a lot of stuff going on in the world and uh, the Christians ought to rise up a little bit and start throwing things off because bloggers are doing it Christian bloggers are they're tearing it up okay and then there's uh, the vloggers sanctuary matrix you know these guys and ladies are going to bat on some big topics Christian musicians let's start talking about social issues and where we come from as Christians gonna be an awesome thing if we can do it so give me your thoughts you can email me right here on the screen and uh, looking forward to talking with you next week on Matthew chapter 5 <laughs>